Greetings, I am Isis. I bring the, you the warmth of the central sun. I bring you joy and peace and the love and understanding of the day ahead. I bring you contentment and the serenity that comes with the knowledge that you are walking along the path that was designed just for you. I bring you the understanding of this path and the ability to change your ideas and thoughts as you move through this time on the planet. You are living upon the only free will society planet in this experiment. You are learning the ways of those who have walked this land in the past and you are finding the abundance that is being offered to you each day. I mentioned earlier that you're living in the only free will society in this experiment of 11 thousand planets. You have chosen to be here to learn about the abundance that you can reap in this society. You are here to see the difference in this world and those that you have walked upon in the past. Others of you were living upon planets that knew nothing of war or anger. You lived in a land that was full of sunshine and grace and learned from the masters the way of the planet on which you lived. It was a land full of education and learning and you were able to put your mind into a realm of hearing the words of knowledge and live according to them. You were aware only of the possibility that you could know more and more as you awoke each day. You were chosen ones who would in future become the leaders and directors of other incarnations that were to follow. Some of you lived in the realm of love. Yes, there were planets out there in your universe that are full of love and remembrance. You are the ones who are so upset with the life upon this planet Earth. You are the ones who cherish those around you and work in an atmosphere of peace and love. You have brought with you during this incarnation the ability to share this love and peace with those around you. If you put yourself into a state of remembering, you will know of that which we speak. There are also those who have lived upon the land that was new and just being invented. You saw the land rise and fall around you and the oceans come into being. You had forms much different than you do now but you could communicate with others upon this land in a way much different than you do now. Oh, there are so many different lands and planets and experiments that are going on in this universe that gives you no chance to choose for yourself what you wish and can do. There are so many different choices that you have when you elicit to return to body that is difficult for you to decide what you wish to do with this spiritual being that is within. However, all of you that are listening to this have chosen this world of free will. Are you making the best of this choice? Are you able to see that you do have a choice in anything you do? Do you make the best of each decision? 
Or do you move into a place of darkness where you cannot move because of the anger and the frustration you have with yourself over the plans of this life? This is a world where if you choose, you can grow into a loving, caring being who shares their life with others in a positive manner. This is a world where if you choose you can become successful in a material way and yet not have a friend who can share your life with. Yes, there are so many successful souls in your world who are all alone. They are living what many consider to be a positive life. But in reality, they do not know how to find the spiritual being that is and has been part of their life in the past. There are many souls who have just now incarnated from worlds of anger and hate and did not give themselves enough time in their rest period at home to cleanse themselves of the negative thoughts and feelings of past lives and now come to this planet of free will and live only for the destructive power that they have enjoyed in the past. Yes, those planets and souls who have lived upon the planets of anger and pain have not cleansed themselves properly. Bring with them the thoughts of the past and feel that this earth should be as such. Each of you has this choice. Each of you can be or do whatever you wish. You can move in circles of material wealth and prosperity, or you can move through life in the world of hunger or pain. You can choose what you want to do. You can change your path at will and find a new world waiting for you in the humble beginnings of peace and love. You can do that which you wish and not look back. You are what you make yourself in this life and you can do and say whatever you wish with feelings of regret. Think about the life that you are leading. Is it one of peace and love? Is it one of constantly looking for something better and never being satisfied with what you have? Or is it one that you know you can achieve much more but cannot find the way? This is your life and your choice. Just think about what you're doing and what you have done and then move forward into the light and commit to the thousands of possibilities that abound you. Take a moment now to reflect on what your ego fears. Yes. No fear is too small. This is to say to you only because it is the subtle, tiniest fears that will cripple you when you least expect it. And it is this tiniest of fears that create the strongest diversion to your quest to manifest all things needed to sustain yourself in this 3D going through to the 5D realm. Ponder upon this and as you do, seek it out to root it out, force it to the forefront so you may see it. And as you look at it, ask how you might work through it and subsequently release it from your core being once and for all. 
you do not need it. Fear is the greatest of all illusions that you have created here for yourself. It is one of the most powerful of energies and you have used it to its fullest. You have indeed become masters of this force and you are love. You are love. Yes, that's right. You are sitting here hearing this. This is love. You're not lost. You have a mirror, so go and see for yourself. See it there in the mirror. There is your long lost love, your long lost soulmate, your power. You are never ever alone. I am Isis. I'm always at your service and looking over you with love, plus the many guardian angels who surround you. You just need to trust and believe. I thank you for being here with, with us tonight. Namaste.